Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Kermis at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how to model and texture a Rubik's Cube. Now for those of you that are younger than 30 years old, you probably never saw this thing in real life. Um, it's a, a really, really popular toy, uh, it was anyway, back in the 80s. And that's what we're going to create today. Okay. So we're going to start off in our polygons menu, or we're going to click on a cube and just uh, drag that out in the grid. And we'll fix the uh, dimensions in a sec. Hit 5 for shaded mode. And we're going to go to our polycube 1 tab, and we're going to change the size to 5 by 5 by 5. And we're going to leave the subdivisions all at 1, okay? So we got that. Now we're going to right click on our object, go to face mode. We're going to drag select all of them, and we're going to go up to Edit Mesh and Extrude. Now, this is tricky. Don't click on the arrow. Click on the cube in front of the arrow. So click on the blue cube, then click on the one in the middle, and drag the face down until you get a segment looking like this. And that has been repeated all the way around, as you can see. Okay, so that's good. Next, we're going to zoom in a little bit, right click on it, go to Edge, and we're going to select all the outer edges. And I'll try and do that fairly quickly. Don't want to keep you guys waiting. Okay, so we got all those. Now we're going to go up to Edit Mesh and down to Bevel. And we're going to increase our segments to about, oops, seven. That looks about right. And we're going to bring our offset back to about 0 0.4. Okay, got that. So now that we've got that one, we're going to right click, go to object mode, select our cube, right click again, assign new material. Go to Lambert, like that, and we're going to change the color to black. All right, so now that we've got that one, we're going to go to uh, our side view. Um, yep, side view. We're going to hit Control D and hit W to move that over. And make sure you got a little spacing in between, not too much. Yeah, it looks about good. And hit Shift D to repeat that. Now we're going to drag select these three. Hit Control D to duplicate that again. Pull that up. Let's check our spacing again. Looks about right. And hit Shift D to duplicate that. Okay, we're going to switch views. We're going to go to our front view, drag select all three, hit Control D. I'll just hit F to zoom in a little bit. Move that over. We're again going to check spacing just a little more. Yeah, a little less. Okay, and we're going to hit Shift D to repeat that. Okay. So now, the basic shape, and I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode, is that we got, you know, the cube set up, okay? Now we need to apply all the color faces on this, okay? And what I'll do is I'll show you how to do one, and then I'll pause the video because this will get boring really fast, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the cubes, right-click, go to face mode, Click on the face, right click, go down, assign new material. I'm going to go with the Lambert, and I want this one to be red. Okay, so now Lambert number three is red. Okay, so I'm going to click on the next one, right click, go down, uh, actually click on face first, sorry, select face, right click, go down. Uh, assign existing material, Lambert 3. Okay, so two of them are red. I do all these in red. Then I go over here, I apply um, a new Lambert, go to yellow, 
and so forth. Okay, I'll pause the video, I'll do all these, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be back in a sec. Okay guys, and I'm back. So, I uh, applied color to the different faces here, and uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to set up some quick lighting, do our render, and that's it. So, we're going to um, set up a quick ground plane. I'm going to drag that out in the grid. Just uh, pull that in a little. We're going to apply some color to it, so right click on it, assign new material, Lambert. We'll do a simple white. We're going to throw in a couple of quick lights, so create, lights, point light, check that from our top view. Uh, let's see, um, yeah, we're going to check that from our top view, just make sure we got the right angles here. One over there, that yeah, should be about right, we'll just check that from this view. So we got one, it's in my ground plane a little bit, okay. Just gonna pull that one up, pull it out over here. Get that one. Pull it up over here. That looks about right. I got both my lights selected, and in my uh, light tab, I'm going to enable use that map shadows. We're going to get a nice angle for our cube here. Just going to click on my ground plane and hit R and scale it out a little bit. And make sure that it's sitting on the grid nicely. So hit W, pull that down just a little so it's sitting on the grid. And now we are ready to render. So, render settings. I'm going to use Mental Ray. Quality tab, I'll bump that up to about 1.25. And my Common tab, I'm going to change the size to about HD 1080. Oops. HD... Where is it? There. All right. This should be it, so let's go and render. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. No, it's not too bad. So we'll just uh, sit this one out. Just give it a few more seconds. Now the funny thing is, this thing uh, looks very easy to model, uh, but it's not that easy because uh, especially you got the separation of the faces that need different colors. But uh, this is at least the way I do it, so hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Bye.